Okay, one second. Okay, um, I can send you another picture. No, you don't need to. Just read to me what A says. Okay, which of the following statements about the function y equals f of x graphed here are true and which are false? Okay. Limit f of x does not exist on x to 2. Uh, that's false because it's 1. Okay, good. What's b? Limit f of x equals 2 when it goes to 2. That's false. Okay, what about c? Limit f of x does not exist on x to 1, and that's false because it exists at, or no, uh, that's actually true. Correct, because from the right, it's 0. From the left, it's minus 2. They're not the same. It does not exist. Correct. Okay, now I can read D. From minus 1 to 1, does the limit exist at every point there? Say again? Well, what does D say? The limit exists at every point C between minus 1 and 1. Um, that is true. Wait, no, that's not true. It actually because... is true. I thought it was false at first also. But the fact that they're putting parentheses around these numbers means they're not asking about when x is 1. They're asking about up until 1. Oh. Well, in this part of the function, from minus 1 up until we get to 1, it's a continuous function. The limit exists. That's not a piecewise function between minus 1 and 1. Had they put a bracket around the 1, well, then it would be false because it does not exist at x equal 1. The limit as x approaches 1 is different from the left than it is from the right. Therefore, it does not exist at 1. But it does exist everywhere between minus 1 and 1. Now, notice that at minus 1, it only exists from the right. There is nothing that goes to the left, right? Correct? Yes. Well, it exists. And the fact that it's approaching negative 1 only from the right doesn't matter. The limit still exists. It's minus 1. All right, how about E? Between 1 and 3, does the limit exist at every point, not including 1 and not including 3? No. Where does it not exist? Two. What is it as you approach two from the left? Um, I see it go to one. What is it as you approach two from the right? One. Dang it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I saw the little point on two. It does exist. The limit as you approach two is one. Even though the function says that it's equal to 0 at 2, doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with it. The only thing you okay. care about is, is it the same from the left as it is from the right? And it is. Therefore, it does exist at, at 1 from the right, and it exists at 3 from the left, and it exists at everywhere in between. Okay. Why does 5 not exist? It's a 0 over a 0. No. Think about the reason limits don't exist is if their limit from the right is not the same as their limit from the left. That's the way you got to think about this. Well, what's the limit from the right? Um, I have no idea. Positive one. Positive one. In other okay. words, if we're approaching from the right, the bottom's always positive, the top's always positive. Correct? Yes. Okay, and x over x is 1. But, if we're approaching from the left, 
The bottom is always positive. The top's always negative. So that limit would be minus 1. If I were to graph this, it would look just like this. In other words, as I approach 0 from the right, I get positive 1. As I approach 0 from the left, I get negative 1. Since they are not the same, it does not exist. End of story. Okay. Okay. How about number 6? So, it's at X of 1. Well, does that exist or what? What is 1 over 0? Undefined. Exactly. And it's actually infinity, but the problem is, is that we, as we approach 1 from the right, we get infinity, positive infinity. But as we approach 1 from the left, we get negative infinity. Well, negative infinity is not the same as positive infinity, so it does not exist. Okay. Similar, similar to this, y equal 1 over x. That does not exist. And notice, that's a hyperbolic function. Well, as we approach 0 from the right, we're headed to positive infinity. As we approach 0 from the left, we're headed to negative infinity. That's why it does not exist. That makes sense. Well, let's change it and make it x squared. Now, this thing goes like this. Now what? What's the limit as we approach 0? Infinity. What's the limit as we approach from the right and the left? That's what you always have to ask. From the right, what is it? Infinity. What is it from the left? Infinity. So what is it? Infinity. Ah, that's the one case where infinity is not the same as undefined or does not exist. This limit definitely exists. It's the same from the right as it is from the left. Therefore, it exists. Okay. Whether you would call it infinity or undefined depends on your teacher. And that's truly the case. In other words, a lot of teachers don't like using the word infinity if they can avoid it. So they use undefined. And sometimes they use does not exist, but it's really easy to confuse those three words. Let me look at number seven. Okay, suppose that a function f of x is defined for all real values of x except x equals c. Can anything be said about the existence of limit x to c f of x? Give reasons for your answer. Um, so all real values. Well, let's kind of draw something that they're talking about. Here's x equals c. Well, they're saying it's defined for all values except x equals c. Well, there would be a function that was defined at all values except x equals c, correct? Yes. Well, can you say anything about that limit? Um, it it's or not? It's undefined. Does it exist or not? Say again? Does it exist? No. No, because from the left and the right, it's different. However, if I draw the same exact function, well, not the same exact function, 
a different function, still defined for every value except x equals c, does this limit exist? Uh, yes, it does. Correct. So the answer to number seven is nothing can be said about the existence of the limit. It might exist, it might not depending on whether or not you have this graph or the first graph that I drew. In other words, if it was this graph, then the limit would exist. The limit would be that value right there. But if it was the first graph, then the limit from the left would be different from the limit from the right, and it would not exist. Okay. Number eight. Suppose that a function f of x is defined for all x in negative one to one. Can anything be said or done about the existence of limit x zero f of x? Give reasons for your answer. Well, let's take this function right here. Uh, it's defined everywhere from minus 1 to 1, is it not? Yes. Can anything be said about the existence as x goes to 0? Um, it doesn't exist because both the ah. points, left and hand, right ah. limits. Exactly. But if I had a function like this, then the limits would exist everywhere between minus 1 and 1. Correct. So one of the real keys here is continuity. In other words, if you have a continuous function, it, the limits tend to exist, although not always. I can draw a function that would be continuous and the limits would not exist. The green function there. The limit does not exist at zero. And well, hold on, I may have been wrong there. I'm sorry, that's wrong. As long as it's continuous, the limit's going to exist. It's not differentiable at zero. In other words, there's two different things. There's continuity and there's differentiability. You haven't really got the derivatives yet. But in terms of continuity, yeah. In other words, that green line is continuous. Continuity is if I can draw it without picking up my pencil. Okay. Okay. And if that green line, the limit does exist yeah. as x goes to zero, it's this value right here on the y-axis. That's what it is as x goes to zero, even though it's a what is called a corner or a cusp. A corner or a cusp does present problems to calculus. It's not differentiable at that point, but it is continuous and the limit does exist. So if the line is continuous, the limit's going to exist everywhere on that line. If it is not continuous, my black line is not continuous, I had to pick it up to finish it, then you can almost say that the limit does not exist everywhere on that line. Okay. All right, Taylor, I got a 3.30. I got to run, but uh, thank you. hopefully that helped. Talk to you later. Yeah, thank you. Have a good night. Bye. Yeah, bye, -bye.